Ah, protein. Six pack. 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 Hey guys, you'll never guess what's going to happen today. Another unboxing. <laughs> anyway, um, so it's actually a nice day out here today. It's um, pretty mild and um, we're nearing spring, so I'm pretty happy about that. We'll get right into it. This is um, a tree I actually did have before, but I managed to kill. It is um, from Mr. Maple. They're one of the only, uh, one of the only two nursery, nurseries I know that carries this. Um, this is a, it's called a tiny dragon or also a baby dragon. There's not a lot of um, people that really know about this tree. It is a, it's like a flying dragon hybrid or just a chance type seedling. Let's get it open. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open this one second, guys. So I got the box mostly open, but I wanted to show you uh, for some reason, Normally when I get boxes, they look like this. Lately I've been doing okay, but this is pretty typical. I usually buy boxes. I don't know why my mail carrier seems to want to kick boxes from wherever they're shipped all the way here. But anyways, <clears throat> let's take a look at it. Now look at this guy. It is um, super contorted. It's like a flying dragon on steroids. Um, so it, it is um, a super dwarf type of um, flying dragon or trifoliate it doesn't really uh, as far as I know it doesn't really produce edible fruit but it's one for the collectors if you guys are really into like super weird citrus this is one of them and um, doesn't look like they did a great job of packing it half the soil looks like it's kind of out of the pot and uh, look, you can see some of the roots hanging out right here. So I'm gonna have to get to work and get this thing potted up. But this is the uh, baby dragon or uh, tiny dragon. Now, I had to, I had one planted out in the ground, but I think it was just getting too dry, and it uh, kind of died out. There's actually one called a snow dragon too. It is a uh, uh, variegated uh, trifoliate. So I'm gonna show you that one. That one. When that one. Um, buds out so you can see uh, see the uh, the foliage on it so I'm gonna um, go over to another tree I wanted to show you in just one second here all right guys so I wanted to bring you over to my it's kind of a collector's blood type citrus this is a raspberry tangor um, and I picked a few fruits off already and uh, these actually get a nice red blood color to them uh, this is kind of a rare one um, not really one that you'll see anywhere. Uh, it's only kind of available through, I guess, collectors. So this, the origin of this is, um, it's a Moro times Umatilla, which is actually a Satsuma times Ruby cross. But, um, the fruit, uh, I like it a whole lot. They have a really pronounced berry taste and they, um, have a really deep kind of orange, I mean, a red color to them which I'll uh, put a picture on here for you. But um, some people say that they're really sour. I think the initial taste testing I did on this, they were pretty tart. But I think as this tree is maturing and I'm letting the fruit hold a little longer, uh, the tree, uh, the fruit get uh, really, uh, really tasty. It's not, you know, a super sweet um, fruit, but um, that berry with the tart, it's really tasty. So. Guys, this is the um, Raspberry Tangor. Just wanted to show you that to you before we pick all the fruits off and eat them. But it's doing all right, even though it has a um, strawberry guava volunteer in it. I gotta get that thing out of there so this thing can um, grow properly. But all right guys, it's uh, nice and sunny and uh, mild out today. I'm really enjoying the day. All right, you guys have a good day. あちらの方からです。気持ちいい。